Venus and Cupid. There are whimsical stories about Venus and Cupid. In the domain of love, they ruled. Venus was the goddess of love, beauty, and fertility, while Cupid represented love and desire. Venus was the fairest among all immortals. The goddess's beauty was in the eye of all beholders. The mortals were prepared to surrender their lives to the goddess, just for a careless glance of her, and the immortals would exploit their divinities to win her favor. Indeed, haunting beauty invites both lust and love, and Venus's love profile was not short of indecent affairs. And whirlwind romances. Before her beauty might arouse conflicts amongst the suitors, Zeus married Venus to Vulcan, the god of metalwork. In the eyes of Venus, however, her husband was nothing but a lackluster fellow, and his bland personality did not live up to her beauty and wild fancy. What she deserved, she thought. Was a pack of suitors and sugar-coated promises. Among the suitors, she was particularly fond of Mars, the god of war, who was witty and physically appealing. However, such an affair ended in disgrace when Venus and Mars were caught on the spot and brought to an assembly of gods by Vulcan. On another occasion. She fell for a strikingly handsome young man called Adonis. Despite her full devotion, their relationship ended in eternal departure. The young man was killed by a boar when he was hunting. This animal was, in fact, a transformation of Mars. Love was gone, but the body of Adonis was changed into an enemy. In order to commemorate such a fleeting moment of happiness, beauty can arouse intense affection, and in the extreme, it can give rise to warfare and bloodshed. The Trojan War was a case in point. In order to persuade Paris, the Prince of Troy, to elect her as the fairest goddess, Venus promised him the most beautiful lady on earth. Helen, as a reward, but Helen was the queen of Sparta, and such a promise from Venus was no different from stirring up hostility between the two nations. A war of nine years thus ensued, and thousands of lives were lost. The winged and diapered boy Cupid was no less harmful than his mother. Because he was armed with two kinds of powerful arrows, the golden-headed arrow for inspiring love, and the lead-headed arrow for spurning love. Sometimes this chubby boy is depicted as blindfolded, which symbolizes the saying "Love is blind." As a mischievous boy, he fired his arrow wherever he liked. The victims were not confined to mortals; even gods like Apollo became his target. If love is a medicine, or a poison to some, Cupid once had a dose of his own medicine when he was accidentally hurt by his own arrow. He instantly fell in love with a maiden called Psyche, whom Venus had decided to get rid of. Refer to story Cupid and Psyche. The origin of Pisces. Venus and Cupid are still affecting us, since they form one of the zodiac signs. One day, the goddess and her son were targeted and chased by a monster. At the end of their tether, the pair transformed themselves into fish. And dived into a river. They tied themselves by their tails for fear that they might lose each other. Such tied fish 
thus became a constellation, commonly known as Pisces.